Hello everyone on the internet and thanks for tuning in. I'm Ryu Kibble of Ryu Kibble Toku. There are no products to unbox and analyze, nor is there a brother at my side on the split screen. It's just me, my camera phone, and my list. Welcome to my Tokusatsu Chart Rundown 2020. My charts took days to compile. I look at each series on their merits and flaws alone before having each one face off with other series in its franchise to give them a score. The league tables had their positions based on points alone and I would either bump them up or bring them down based on how I actually felt they should go on my own personalised chart. Everything in these charts are spoiler free. I will summarise a rundown for each series in ascending order, outlining for each my thoughts overall, various comparisons before stating its score and recommendations. Let me know what you think. You so cool! Where does your favourite Super Sentai appear on my list? As someone who has watched Five Man to Present, this is part one of my list. Kira Major doesn't make the list because it's still an ongoing series. But here I'm going to be talking about the complete series that ranked in my bottom 11. Let's begin. In at number 31, Engine Sentai Go Onja. Now this one actually started okay, especially with the Flash CGI. But then the CGI was dulled down and it just became such a bland, like rubbish story in my opinion. I understand that the whole theme was pollution, which is good for the kids to learn about. But I think the way they executed the story was really poor. They could have done so much more with Go On Black, Gunpei. Green was a very good comedy character, but the main three, I mean, Blue was like, I relate to him a little bit being the older character, but Yellow and Red, I really did not like them. I mean, Red being Bucker Red, I could have been, okay, I'm normally okay with Bucker Reds, but this one I really did not like. The villains, again, the monsters of the week were, gar were literally garbage. Uh, the location was still pretty good, and like the alternative worlds were still pretty good settings, but that's where, again, that CGI-esque that they were going with was good, but the you know, there was virtually no actual martial arts. It was all vroom, 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 dashing about. And, you know, even with the go on wings, they had a nice mansion setting, but then the fact that they were supposed to be better than everyone else kind of ostracised them a little bit, even if they did come around at the end. Uh, I'll still say that the mecha did look pretty decent, but then the fact that they just constantly stacked them on top of each other to be cluster thugs. Uh, a lot of people didn't like that, and even I wasn't too hot on it either. 10th anniversary was also rubbish, and the G3 princess thing, what the F. I'll say the RPM, the Ranger series, was a lot better. And even things like Car Ranger and just anything else, Carmen Rider Drive, still so much better. I scored this one point and it was previous seed in 2013 was 25 out of 25. So in at number 30 is Gosei Sentai Die Ranger. Now this is quite a shocker because a lot of people do rank this series quite highly. Me personally, I didn't like it because even though it's supposed to be a martial arts series, I just didn't feel there was that much martial arts in it. Uh, we had the Pink Ranger, who was supposed to be from China, but I really didn't feel her character either. Kibba Ranger was probably the funny guy, and I like the fact that we had a rookie red, but still, uh, Kibba Ranger was funny for all the wrong reasons, and it was all about Red Ranger sort of learning the sensibility of the power that he had been bestowed. I mean, the OP was pretty decent, the mecha were alright, and there were some good dark elements, but even then, those villains, in my opinion, were garbage. Uh, the crazy white and the low budget set and villains kind of made this a bit of a yuck series. The second series of Power Rangers probably did so much better even if it was a mishmash of bad editing. I would not even, I'd even say that Geki Ranger and others in the series were so much better. I scored this 3 points and it was 24th seed in 2013. So in at number 29, we've got Hyakuju Sentai Gao Ranger. Gao! I really hated this series on so many levels. I mean, I did actually like Gao Yellow, but things like Gao White and their mentor woman, I did not like at all. The orgs were garbage. So were the Monsters of the Week. I mean, they were ugly. They were grotesque. I think that was deliberate, but that is why I did not like it. I mean, the Gao Silver storyline was actually pretty good, in my opinion. But that was like one of the few redeeming features. I mean, the mecha were all right, but I think especially with the movie and stuff and so many orcs mecha with palette swaps definitely did my head in. I mean, the main movie was all right, but the anniversary movie was so poor in my opinion. I mean, the OP uh, with its famous singer, yeah, I guess it was all right. But most of the cast was still garbage and very unrememberable in my opinion. I mean, when it comes to Wild Force, 
I'll probably say Wild Force was only mildly better, so not too much going on there. And, you know, there's actually so many better Animal Sentai, but I've got to be honest, Animal Sentai is not one of my hot favourites. I scored Gower Ranger three points, and it was 23rd on my 2013 list. In at 28, Tenso Sentai Go Seija. I felt this series cops a lot of flack. I mean, it was still technically a solid series, but them having all those solid Sentai marks made it a bland series, so I don't blame people too much. But I'll still say, you know, it had a lot of style. I mean, I did like the suits, uh, but again, it was just so bland because they were so nice. Uh, the mecha, I mean, I like the whole header thing. I like the, you know, especially with the devices and the card system was all right. But again, having all these solid marks did not necessarily make it an exciting series. They could have done so much with the Go Say Green storyline. I know there's a lot of fan fiction and comics and stuff based on Gosei Green, but again, they wasted an opportunity. I did like that Professor, he was quite funny, but Datus was really irritating. And Gosei Knight was a very decent look, and I believe a lot of people felt that he was inspired by other series. I'll say that Mega Force was probably a little worse in the, <laughs> on this one. But again, I can't really compare it to other Sentai or other Toku really, um, simply because I can't think of any off the top of my head. But this one actually scored lower than the ones lower in the list, so this was only two points. But it was 20th seed in 2013. In at number 27, Dobutsu Sentai Zuoja or Zuoja. I felt that this could have been so much better. I mean, there was a lot of decent uh, story and plot. But I felt that the storytelling was a bit feeble. I mean, I like the whole alternative reality thing, you know, the alternative Animal Kingdom thing, but they didn't really do as much as they could have done with it. The villains were quite stylish, but again, they were quite minimal on the story for them. Uh, the f uncle was quite a funny character. I mean, the red was quite a compassionate, heartfelt character, and the world had a good storyline. Blue and white were hot, and green and yellow, I'm not too sure how I felt about them. I mean, some people were quite uh, neither here nor there on the suit design, but it was all about that mecha design. Obviously, being Minecraft, there was only so much they could do with that, which is why it was a bit garbage, and I didn't like the music to this series either. I scored Zuoja four points, and it is actually new to my Sentai list. In at number 26, Seiju Sentai Ginga Man. Now, this series could have been better, um, you know, there was a lot of, uh, so I'm so, so I'm going to go straight off with the comparisons. Like, there was so much Americanism, and especially those early episodes, they just felt like American uh, sort of fictional ser fictional drama series. So I was getting a lot of vibes on that. And even the way that Lost Galaxy, I mean, ironically, the way that Lost Galaxy turned out was very different to this. And I'll probably say Lost Galaxy was better than this. But I'll say there was still some sto good storytelling, but not enough for me to care. I mean, yellow and pink were like the younger two, but then there was still so much more focus on pink, which I did like. I mean, the Red Ranger and his brother, who uh, ended up inheriting that ball power, whatever it was, that was the pretty decent storyline. And they did have some crazy looking villains still. Uh, I mean, the music was all right, but for me, this series just had so much of a hippie vibe for me to care with all the trees and whatnot. I did score Gingaman four points, and it was 22nd on my 2013 list. In at number 25 is the oldest Sentai I've watched, Chikyu Sentai Five Man. So I barely remember, even though this was the last series I watched complete, uh, there was very little that I remember. I mean, I remember they were teachers, I remember they started in space, and there was quite a lot of abstract storytelling in this. I mean, I remember one of the monsters like being very... You know, like very money hungry, uh, so I won't go too much into the stereotypes for that character. I mean, I remember Yellow being quite a hot character, uh, that's about it. I mean, the OP and the ending credit music was still pretty decent. The designs of the suits were pretty good, uh, but those dull characters that they introduced and that robot mentor just kind of made it a little bit abstract for me. So I scored this, so nothing to really compare it to, if I'm honest. I mean, maybe Jetman, but Jetman was so much better. I will score this seven points, and it's still new to my list. In at number 24, Resha Sentai Tokuja. So I loved how different this series was. I loved the ambition of it. 
I'll still say like I love that spaced out uh, Red Ranger that we had and you know the gimmick of them changing colors was quite cool but you know they did have such good potential for the villains but that baby thing was just really bad and obviously the mecha they could only do so much with train mecha that was ridiculously poor and lazy lazy for all the obvious reasons i mean the music was all right and i will say i did like that train conductor with his monkey puppet imagination um i will still say uh they could have done so much more with the uh, rokugo story but it was still pretty decent still uh wagon i'm not too sure what was going on with her uh, the Space Liner movie was still pretty decent as well. Um, but again, I'll just say that the cast was just generally ugly. I'm so sorry about that. And again, their V Cinema and that whole kid cast thing. And, the, you know, they added Violet in, in one of the future movies. Wasn't really feeling it. So, Toki just scored 8 points. And it was 17th on my 2013 list. In at number 23, Ninpu Sentai Hurricane Shushu to Santa. There we go. Uh, this was a series that could have done so much better choreography wise, just like Dai Ranger, really. And the villains were still pretty, like, they looked aesthetically good. And yeah, like the shark guy, I remember off the top of my head, they still had like some decent story, but the whole intent of the villains, like, they'd come to Earth and cover people in goo, and that was pretty much their sort of reason of being and i just felt that was a bit garbage um i still kind of like the go riders and the green ranger i think it was called shurikenja uh they had decent story um but again it was just not too you know it just didn't redeem it too much i mean the mecha was all right i mean the two female villains were also pretty cool but hurricane blue does actually give me headache now i'm not gonna lie to you uh, i mean there was again they could have done so much better with the martial arts i didn't think the story was all that but i did like the whole three rubbish ninjas actually taking the power i thought that was pretty cool but did they really have to do this hamster thing with ninja storm they could have done so much better but considering what they only had to begin with working with with uh hurricane footage i actually felt that ninja storm was still so much better uh hurricane i mean again there's still so many better series with better choreography still even though i did love the whole ninpu trick thing that they did throughout with Hurricane Jet, I scored it six points and it was 21st on my 2013 list. In at number 22 is Gekiso Sentai Car Ranger. Now, this was such a great comedy series here. I mean, not as sharp as some of the other comedy series, which I'll go on to later in my list. But, you know, it was regarded as a parody series. But for me, I just felt like it was like the writers had given up on the franchise to die. Uh, it still had some strong story arcs and, you know, there was that E.T. looking thing. Um, again, not really cool on that. Zonetto was quite hot for all the obvious reasons. RV Master had such... I love the mystery, mystery behind him. And there was still a lot... You know, I love the designs overall still, especially Signal Man. I mean, as much as that crazy family he had, I still thought it wasn't too bad. When it comes to things like the writing, again, you could really see it was lacklustre. Um, and the side villains in the Monsters of the Week, I'm really not too sure how I felt about those. Uh, comparing this to Power Rangers Turbo, I'll still say Car Ranger edges it. for you know, So for Sentai, it just about edges it for it. So Car Ranger, I scored 9 points and it was 19 on my 2013 list. So to end this part, in at number 21, Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja. Nin Nin Nin. Uh, I did love Aka Ninja with his Baka Red Moe Tekita. Um, the dynamic of the team could have been a little better, but considering they were just cousins, I felt they didn't do too bad. Uh, they played nostalgia a little bit surreal. I mean, especially like throwing in Hurricane J and Kaku Ranger. Uh, the choreography was okay, but again, when you've got like such a martial art based series, it could have been so much better. Star Ninja WTF is all I've got to say on that. That cat thing, whatever it was, had a good story, I've got to admit. But the rest of the stories were hit and miss. And of course, the mecha was deliberately random for all the deliberate reasons. 
Uh, the Grandad was pretty cool, and the Jiraiya crossover was also pretty cool. The music, I've got to admit, it was quite catchy. Uh, the hero's plot and this whole sort of Ultimate Ninja thing, not too sure how I felt about it. The movies was a bit meh, if I remember correctly, there was a dinosaur in one of them. And just the cast was a bit meh. I mean, when it comes to Ninja Steel, I'll probably still say that this was actually a little better. Ninja scored 11 points and was 15 on my 2013 list. So that is all for part one. Please let me know what you think. Uh, if any of your favourites appeared in that bottom 11, uh, don't hate me. But do comment, like, follow and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube here and Instagram, as well as my WordPress, ryukiwataku.wordpress.com. Hope to see you for part two.